Second time making this video, I got interrupted. Okay, so what caused this whole problem? What caused all this chaos? In a way, things kind of went in a circle. One thing would happen, then something else would happen, and nobody would give, and it would just keep going in a circle. Okay? What happened was, I had uh, two complaints. That's all. Her not spending enough time with the kids, and number two, not doing enough around here. I was doing just about everything. We're talking about like 96%, okay? And I got tired of it. Okay, so I would bitch about it and complain, and we'd fight about it, and nothing would change. And she kept getting tired of hearing that, that complaint. Okay, she got tired of the fights. They weren't all the time, but they were, you know, at least once a week, you know, if not twice. I just was hoping it would change. Okay, now, her complaints on me was like 11 issues. And these issues came about because I became resentful and I started pulling back. Like, I wouldn't help with uh, her son's uh, homework because... I do almost everything around here, so I wanted her to do something. So I, in a way, making her do that, I was forcing her. I was punishing her in a way. Not really calling it punishing, but, you know, you do that. I wasn't telling her. Um, I told her I loved her almost all the time. But, you know, I didn't say you're beautiful and pretty and stuff like that like I used to. I wasn't, you know, cherishing her. I wasn't making her feel special. And... um like when we go to Walmart, if she would take too long doing something and I wanted to get something, you know, I would leave her and then go get it and then come back. She'd rather just shop together, you know, stand by each other and go shopping and pay for it and everything. Um, I didn't do the grocery shopping anymore with her. Sometimes I couldn't because of the kids, um, I'd stay with them while she did it. But there was other times I didn't, okay, because, again, I did almost everything around here, so I wanted her to do something. So these little things, they all add up on my side. So when you look at the reality of it, because of those two issues I had, mine started building up on what I was pulling back. Stuff that I used to do, I wasn't doing anymore. And some things I just didn't do at all. You know, like going out to clubs or dancing and stuff like that. All right, so when you look at it, reality, 95% was my problem, on my fault in this relationship. Because in reality, I should have actually still did all those things, whether or not she was helping around here. Do you see what I mean? Because who in the hell would want to stay in a relationship when you're not making that person feel special? You know, you're supposed to. So whether or not they're, they're helping out, I should have still did all those things that she wanted me to do. You know, she'd ask me to get her a drink of water or fix her something to eat. I say, like, do it yourself, you know. I'm doing almost everything around here. I'm fixing the meals for the kids while you're gone and stuff like that. So it 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 slowly tore from her heart. Okay? And then when we get major fights, I say I want a divorce because it was obvious that it wasn't gonna change. So I'd say I want a divorce, but really I didn't. I said it because I was hoping to scare her in a change. But it didn't. It actually was making her love me less. And I did not know. I thought that our love was even the same strongness and so even if we fought we'd still make it we still get make it through it you know but no actually her love was going way down like 75 percent versus mine was like 99 percent and so she was wanting out and that's when that guy made the move and when he did he started showing her how special she is telling her she's precious she's beautiful she's pretty and she started to see look this guy's giving me the attention that i want and this guy i'm married to him but he's not Okay, I caused it. So, I figured that all out in one day. Okay. So, you know, the breakup was on Saturday, on the 2nd. And so, for the 3rd and the 4th, I have done everything. I corrected everything. Okay, I have asked her for a second chance. She hasn't gave me a second chance, but she is watching me now. She is watching to see. We've already went shopping together, got groceries, went shopping. We, I've helped her with the homework. Um... Peyton, I have done, you know, when she wants to drink, I mean, everything that I did, I tell her that she's beautiful and she's pretty, and I, and I do believe that, you know, I'm not just saying it. I wanted to change, and in fact, I should have never done those things. I dropped the ball because I was punishing her in a way, hoping that she would change, and then I would give it back. But when you do that too long, you screw it up. So, basically, she said it's going to be like the end of summer. If the end of the summer... I have maintained my change, then there's a good chance that uh, that we'll get back together. She'll give me a second chance. 
okay? I don't want the marriage to end, you know, so don't even go there. And don't go there on the, you know, it takes two to tangle. Yeah, she did those two things. And she did fix the one about the kids. So there was only one issue left. And that was not doing enough around here. Now, how did I fix it in my mind? I decided to let that go. That part is no more an issue. I am going to do all the work around the house while she works. If she wants to help out, that's fine. But if she doesn't, then I have accepted that that's the way it's going to be. And all those other things that I was doing was based on that one. So when you take that away, it's gone. Now, everything that she's asked me to do, like the drink and fixing something to eat and helping Peyton and staying with her when we go grocery shopping and stuff like that, uh, not calling names when we fight, all the stuff that she's asked has been reasonable. Everything's been logical. So she's never asked me something against my morals. She never asked me something that wasn't reasonable. I knew it was at the time. But I just didn't do it because I was resentful and felt hurtful that she was not helping. So, there shouldn't be any more fights. There hasn't been any in two days. But there there really wasn't any for a week and a half either until I found out about the cheating. So, um, if they hadn't, I hadn't found out about the cheating, things probably would have still been good. But, actually, uh, those other things I wouldn't have been doing. I was just stopping the fighting. So, I've got it figured out, I know where the fault is, and I want to change. I want to do what I should do, no matter what she does. I should have been the husband that I was for the first two years. Okay, so that is that on that. Okay, well next we're going to be talking about the guy. Okay, you guys have a good one, take care, and God bless.